Happy Friday. I'm really sweaty today. Um, I was walking down the hallway to get to my classroom and this other teacher goes, uh, be careful, there's a snake out here. And I was like, what? So apparently there's a snake in the hallway and she's trying to find, we're trying to find like um, a Cambodian, prefer the Cambodian guy to come and take care of it. We think it like slithered into one of these closets that are over there. So, ooh, that's a great way to start the morning with a snake. Awesome. Now I'm like afraid to leave the classroom. Ugh. I was just really hoping to get through a year without seeing a snake. <laughs> okay, so didn't find any Cambodian men uh, to get the snake, but apparently I was in my classroom, I didn't even know this was happening. Um, two of the other teachers in the school decided to go ahead with brooms and like get it out of the closet and it was tiny, they said it was really tiny, but they were trying, they were supposed to kill it, that way we just knew it's gone. That did not happen, so it just like, all of a sudden I hear this screaming and it like went down the hallway and then outside. So it's alive still, but it's not in our school building. Um, it's just like out the door. But I was like, oh, a part of me was like, oh, I should have like gone out and tried to film it. But then I was like, actually, I really do not want to see a snake. So I'm sorry if you wanted to see it. I just was not ready for that. So, oh wow, there's a little bit of excitement for the morning. Way to start off the Friday. <laughs> well, I'm done for today. I uh, did some filming. Next week is Puchimben, Puchimben um, which is a Cambodian holiday here. And so we get three days off. So I did all of the work for Monday and Tuesday's like video lessons. And then also had to start working on next week's or the week after's lessons. So I went ahead and created my new to-do list for that next week because on Monday I'm gonna come in and just start working on that following week's work, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm, I'm tired, I'm calling it for this week. I've been really good about like leaving work at work and leaving work at like a decent time and just if it doesn't get done, it doesn't get done. And it's been working out really well this week, so praises to God for that. Um, I think me and my roommate are gonna go to a Japanese restaurant tonight, so we're gonna try that out. And yeah, that is it for today. We're done. All right, we decided to walk around for a, just a little bit before we sat down to eat. But this here is their, um, like the market pretty much, so lots of, things in there. I haven't actually been in there, to be honest. It was closed for a while when I first got here, so there's that. But yeah, it's just a cute little area of different shops and things. You can definitely tell there probably was more open and more available um, pre-COVID, so, but it's still really cool to see. For dinner, my roommate ordered the chicken katsu and rice, and then I wanted, wanted to try a variety of things. So I ordered rice, gyoza, tofu, kind of like a potato salad, I believe that's like a pulled beef, and then a miso soup. Her meal was $2.50 and mine was $5, and both tasted very good. This is kind of funny. This, this is not Ikea, just to be clear. but. This is Ikea. <laughs> this is Ikea. <laughs> Found the Ikea section of Hang Chai Lee. <laughs> and this is like a, a candle. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Here we go. Green tea and red bean. Ooh, it looks so cute. Ooh. Oh, it's like kind of coming apart. Okay, well, here we go. We need to hide. It's good, it's just... Talk us through it. Like, the green tea ice cream inside is really good. I'm not so sure about this extra bit. I, Cause I don't know, I don't even know what this is. It's almost like a... I don't even know how to describe this. Okay, verdict on this 
fish dessert thing. It was okay, probably wouldn't get it again. Um, I did think that the red bean was fine. However, my last bite was too much red bean. Um, realized that the outside stuff reminded me just of like a kid's ice cream cone, just like your regular basic ice cream cone. So, who knows, I might actually get it again because the green tea was good. But yeah, what a great night. We got special ice creams, Japanese food, which was really good. Little adventure for me and my roommate. Good morning, happy Saturday. This morning, I'm super excited. We're gonna go on a little bike ride. Um, I'm gonna try to get a coconut because I haven't had a fresh coconut in a while. And we have these bikes that someone gave us, so it's super nice that we now have some mode of transportation. So it's cool out, so we're gonna take advantage of it and go on a little bike ride. All right, let me just fix this here. Ah, that's better. All right, we're off on our bike adventure. Yay! <laughs> wow, we're doing it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> The place that we came to is called Kenye Cafe, and it, I ordered a beautiful flat white, these eggs benedict with bacon, which was so good. My friend got like a taco bowl, and the other friends both got eggs benedict with avocado and bacon. The food was excellent, and the coffee was very good too. Lots of people say this is some of the best coffee that you can get in Baden Bong, and I would agree, it is very good. Hello, good afternoon. It's Sunday. Taking out my bike, going to meet a friend for coffee, which it's just really nice to be able to have this option. I looked and it's not too far from where we were biking yesterday, so I figured it's kind of okay out, so I might as well take it on out. Good and really sweet. <laughs> okay, so 
this is sugar cane juice. A lot of people recommended that I get this because it has lots of really good nutrients in it. Um, and I finally went ahead, like on my bike ride back from that coffee shop, I was so hot and tired and sweaty and the lady was selling it and she was like in the shade so i was like i'm gonna stop and get this this only cost like 1500 real which is like probably like 30 cents 35 cents for this it's huge and it's very sweet it was really nice and refreshing like when i got it but now i'm just waiting for the ice to melt because it's too sweet for me um but it does have a good taste and i'm still just shocked at the price of this it blew my mind like i don't know how this lady's making any money off of this but it's good and i really enjoy it and i can see why people get it especially when they're out like on a bike rejuvenating for sure mm -hmm. 